Hey, okay, welcome to my tutorial. What we're going to do here is, um, yeah, I've already got it open anyway to make it a bit easier. It's going to be pretty much the same as the last tutorial that I made about the login form, but in this case, we'll be making it encrypted. So, if as you've seen, that I could just make it and bang, you know, I could access it, not a problem. So, that was sort of pretty pointless in having a login form when it's so easy to get past. So, we'll make this one an encrypted one. So, I'll just say, Ink login. So if they try and make the file on that, they'll be shit out of luck, or it's going to take them a long time. So you just got your login form. It'd be the same as the last one, you know, just add a couple of text boxes and that. Don't be too. Well, I'm, I'm not going to be too technical about it, but you might want to make it look a little pretty and all that sort of shit, whatever. That's up to you. So yeah, same as last time, double click, and instead of going through the whole thing, we'll just double click, double click the form. So same as the last one, pretty simple. Dim license or license, whatever, doesn't matter. We're not going to be referring to it, it's just a check or whatever. Then stream reader as usual, current directory, uh, I'll just call it blah, nothing particular. I won't be keeping it, so there's no point in me being too pedantic about it. Oh, I forgot the and. And plus whatever, same thing, it's going to do the same thing. So, yeah. there's a more in depth crap about it, so I'm not too up to date with what the whole deal is and differences about it. So, don't really care to be honest, because the way I do it, it works. So, that's all I give a shit about. Alright, so we'll just copy and paste that. It goes in there. Now, <coughs> The file is going to be encrypted, so what we're going to do is actually we've got to add a reference to the project. Whereas I've already navigated to it, but yeah, it's a pnCrypt, which is a little file I put together to make it easier for yourself to use instead of searching through it through other projects and copy and pasting. I thought I'd just make a DLL, plus I can and upload it to be in the description for you, so if you want it, you can have it. But to uh, use it, we're just going to refer to it. I'll just say ink as new. Just write PE and you'll see it there. pencrypt.class1. Done. So now we'll just go uh, dim line 1 as string as usual. Equals license.readline. Same thing. Copy and paste, get it done a little bit quicker. Line 2, which would be your password. Now, here, to make it easier, code a little bit needy, you can do it this way as well. So if we go if textbox one dot text equals or if not, sorry. Equals and then you can do it this way, you can go ink dot crypt and then uh, say line one then it goes there. So instead of having it looking all ugly and shit like that, you just hide it up here. I think it looks better and neater. Easier to read, understand a little bit easier. So we'll just copy and paste that. Just change text box one to text box two. And line one to line two. Simple as that. Okay, and text box two. As easy as that. So now, what I do is add another button. Not as cool to be able to show you. So if you want to, <clears throat> so if you want to make it so like you can uh, generate licenses and so forth. And why is that going in there? Button two. Oh, so you don't want to do that. 
Let me go here, button to click. Sorry, I forgot. So now we will call this a stream writer now. We want to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's say loss dot right line. Now in the right line, we go hang on crypt and text. So we'll say text box one. Another little comma there. Dot crypt. Oh, class one. No, no, you idiot. Sorry. We'll do text box two. So. Oh. Close the file so we can use it still. I'll just do it right at the end because it's going to read through the whole thing. So, so. now we don't have a license file in here, as you see. So I'll say boobly and boobly build. Yeah, here's our license file. Oh, I've got that dot text. Anyway, sorry. Use this cam recorder slow my PC down. There we are, that's an encrypted text there. Now, when it goes to uh, read the file, so I've got it. So, if it doesn't equal that, then just message blocks, blah, whatever. If you want to, <coughs> if you want to know what all this stuff is, this year. Watch the other tutorial. I've gone in depth. Or not in depth. I've explained it a bit more. And there you have it. So, what was it? Boobly. Oh. I think I got that right. Ah, uh, if not, that's why I did nothing. Sorry. Welcome. There we go. Yeah, it's that easy. <coughs> Cheers for watching. Sorry about my croaky throat and yeah, and all the rest of it. And little screw ups, but yeah, I'll upload the file in a and put the download link in the description for you if you want it. So, ciao.